And to talk more about the match, we're joined from Miami via Skype by Adrian Del Monte. Thank you very much, Adrian, for joining us. What did you think about the match? And was it a well-deserved win for Real Madrid, despite Barcelona possessing the ball for a long time throughout the match? Thanks for having me, Sheena. Well, look, it's always the case with Barcelona, isn't it? 65% possession for the whole game. They did dominate at times, but look, I think at the end of the day, Real Madrid, definitely the better side on the night and deservedly running away with the win. Very happy for Gareth Bale, 2-1. Obviously, his first, uh, his first piece of silverware since moving from Tottenham in the summer just gone. So, look, I think the result in the end was fair, but for Martino and Barcelona, a lot of work to do now. It could be the first season since the 2007-08 campaign when Frank Rijkaard was, of course, sacked they may not win a single piece of silverware. So very rare for Barcelona, very rare for their fans, but Real Madrid should be celebrating long into the night tonight. Oh, what do you think oh. after this win? What are Real Madrid's chances of winning a treble now? They've completed the first step. It was the Copa del Rey trophy. They have the La Liga in front of them and also the Champions League with the likes of German giants by Munich. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the Champions League, I think, is a likelier outcome for them, given the fact that what they do is in their own hands completely. Obviously, they've been drawn against Bayern Munich, who are the favourites for the competition and, look, undoubtedly one of the strongest sides of all time, this Munich outfit. However, I think Madrid do have what it takes over two legs. But again, as I said, at least that's in their own hands. As for La Liga, look, Atletico Madrid, five games remaining. They're up by three points. A fairly easy run home, obviously Barcelona for Atletico on the final match day. But look, if I was Carlo Ancelotti and Real Madrid, all you can do is continue winning, continue putting in solid performances and taking it one step at a time. But I think a double, a likely outcome for Madrid. I can see them winning the Champions League this season. La Liga all depends on Atletico and how they fare in the remaining rounds of football. Well, Adrian, as you said, Barcelona has been... Um, they've had a disappointing performance so far. They've never won three successive matches since 2003. What are the prospects for Gerardo Martino? Will, be seeing, will, be, will we be seeing him sacked? Look, it's, it's very tough. Obviously, a club like Barcelona, they demand exceptional results and three losses on the trot in all competitions simply is not good enough. Said that though, they are still in with the hunt of winning La Liga. They are four points behind Atletico, as I mentioned earlier. They do face Atletico at the new camp on the final match day. So, again, you can't, we can't talk too early because should Atletico slip up, Barca continue to find some form and get some wins back on the board, the final game of the season could be for the title. So, I think the Barca board will definitely be waiting until the end of the season, so in five games from now, to make any big calls like that. But I wouldn't be surprised, no silverware, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a new manager at the helm next season.